said he was not at liberty to discuss specifics. Beautiful. Ah, thank you. We met Bobby Wine at his house in Kampala. When we came here, it was a bush. There was no Other politicians have questioned his grasp of yeah. policy. So me and Bobby, Nonetheless, was, uh, his popularity is on the rise. We were very young. Bobby Wine says it became obvious his devices had been tapped when police started breaking up political rallies planned in secret. At one event last year, the police shot his driver. Because after all that happened, I'd escaped into one of the hotel rooms, and they only caught me in the morning by breaking through the, breaking into the hotel room. They beat me and uh, broke part of my skull. The government said at the time that the torture claims were fake news, and the police claimed his driver had been killed by a stray bullet. Shot. The wine supporters believe the singer was the target of a failed assassination attempt. He says the only way the police knew where to find him was by cracking into his phone to listen to calls and read his messages. We were on WhatsApp, we were um, having, of course, various conversations, how to plan it. And guess what happened? The police busted our meeting. Many of my friends were arrested. Some of them still attend court. Please ask David to give me my other phone. Bobby Wine has since developed new strategies to avoid the police and has been able to hold meetings with his team without getting caught. We're playing a cat and mouse game here. They could have maybe two phones tracked and I could decide to send all these phones in different directions of the country, you know, to confuse them. 